a 2-0 at the moment. It is the best of five. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames, messieurs, mesdames, and señores y señores. Welcome, welcome back. It is game number three. It is Beastie against Nurchio. And you probably just saw what Nurchio just told us. That him running about bullets is most of the time him um, being angry about making a mistake. So, it is game number three. Beastie against Nurchio. Nurture being up two games. Now here is the Red Zerg in the bottom right, Beastie here as the Orange Terran in the bottom left. Of course, Beastie a member of Team Empire. Nurture a former member of Team Empire, now on Team Acer. Of course, his teammates are Rosho, who was in the quarterfinals. Um, he's an Israeli Zerg. And um, Another reason of why Nurture decided to leave Empire and um, team up with Team Acer uh, it was actually, he told me, um, that it was not about the money, it was basically about having a, a fellow countryman in the team. And his friend, Paranoid, um, is in this team as well, both of course Zerg players. And um, yeah, having a teammate in the same country is there is uh, is a good thing to have. I mean, on Team Empire there are a lot of Russians, a lot of Ukrainians. Um, Beastie being the exception, but still not a Polish guy. He's from Serbia. Now Nurture is in here. What does he spot? He spots okay. There's a refinery. He knows about this barracks, and he knows that this drone is going to die. He does not even want to go for the gas hill because he knows. I'll guess it most likely is an uneconomical thing to go for as well. And that he most of the time knows that Beastie is not this... Oh, this is funny. And there's the Marine standing there, and there is the drone moving over there. Uh, we got another Marine in the making, Beastie uh, raising up his supply depot just in time. The drone is, by the way, still alive, but not anymore right now. So this is the remains of the drone. This is the newly finished hatchery here at the natural expansion. Um, there we can see queen number one and queen number two in the making. Pool is finished. Gas is being mined. Will he stop mining the gas? If he's going to stop mining the gas, he wants to play macro. If he continues to mine gas, he will go for an aggressive gameplay. And he is stopping to mine the gas, so he just wants to play it like in game number one and like in game number two, a macro style all the way. And sure, why not? Especially in the first game, he showed us that he actually is able um, to do this right away. So now, here's the command center by Beastie, and I was asking Beastie about his IEM groups. Because he is in the same group as Nurtio, he's in the same group as Sase, and he's in the same group as Dystar. Uh, from those four players, I would consider Dystar the weakest, and I'm not so sure if I would consider Nurtio. I would consider Nurtio the strongest, and Sase uh, the Swedish Protoss player, and of course Beastie the Serbian Terran player. On one level, and compared to the other groups, I talked to Beastie today, and I told him, "Oh yeah, you're probably having the easiest uh, of all those IEM groups uh, for the games coming Cologne." And he said, "Oh yeah, you play against the best Zerg in Europe. You have the best Protoss in Europe, <laughs> and another good Terran in there. Yeah, that's absolutely the easiest group." Uh, he was being a little bit sarcastic, and. Um, Still, I think it is the most easiest group. I mean, playing against Select and Nidra in the other group uh, is also not a super funny thing to uh, have. Even Moonglade is in the same group as Nidra and Select, so 
This should be quite some entertaining games. Note you're going for WTF because why you know all in. This is what I was talking about early on and him as well. <laughs> but take a look at this. We see three star ports here by Beastie and <laughs> little does Nurture know. Yes, there's a single Viking and this Viking is already spotting the Overlord right about now. And this Overlord is going down still. Those three star ports are well well hidden and most of the time Nurture does not like to play uh, this super heavy Mutalist style, which of course is the classic TVZ style, uh, ZVT style, going from Mutalist to Zerklings and incorporate some Bellings into the mix. So if there are actually no of those forces out there, like Mutalist, those mass, 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 mass Banshees Beastie is going for might actually be quite successful. Now Beastie is trying to keep uh, Nurture busy. This overlord, uh, this viking was even able to take out three overlords here. Will the fourth one go down? No, just not just yet. And Beastie is using his uh, medivac here just to protect the viking and allow the viking to kill more of those overlords. Now, um, there he's having the t three star ports building the banshees. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, of course it will be an all in so sure, why not? It is Beastie, he can do this. He's getting refinery number four right now. Um, Nurture is having here some circlings, but the bunker and the hellions is just a little bit too much for him to handle. And here are the roaches, of course, not being able to get in. We see the infestation pit. Of course, the infestation pit is a good thing to have. And now here we see on this right side, Beastie might be able to drop, but he should watch out that the queen's thrown off. Uh, okay. 55, 4 HP left on this medivac. Still, let me see how many Vikings uh, Banshees do we have on the field already. We have three in the making, three on the field. So pretty soon there will be six Banshees. He's just probably waiting for uh, Banshee number five and Banshee number six. And then he is going to move out. He's not letting himself supply blocked. And there are the Banshees, and now he is moving out, and do 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 the Spire is in the making! It is still quite far away from being done, and if Beastie actually moving in here and spots the Spire in time, he will be able to do quite some damage, because no Spine Crawlers, no Spore, uh, no spore Crawlers on the field, and here are the Banshees, and now it is on, and he just needs to take out the Queens and the Spire, and then he is going to be in a super position, because there are no infestors on the field and the infestation pit apparently has been cancelled as well. Now this Aspire is taking some damage, it is going down, GG is called and BC takes game number 3 with of course once again an all in and a, a successful one. So, Beastie not just yet tying up the series, but getting a little bit closer for, to start a comeback here. Just needs to win two games. On the other hand, Nurture needs to win one more game in order to win the whole thing tonight.